Yeah, so we have also other course instructor from statistics. Nikita is here and uh, from mathematics, Srikanth is here. So you can ask doubts related to the other two subjects also. Okay. Yeah, Sachin. Sir, uh, I have a question that uh, in first means during qualifier, uh, mm -hmm. I have given uh, means uh, in computational uh, first four weeks covered, right? Mm -hmm. Now in this term, uh, so in this term, I am taking computational thinking. Mm -hmm. uh, my course will resume from week five or week one? Week one. So you have to start from the beginning, and you have an option. The same thing. What I have uh, answer queries. Uh, for Raghav Kishore. So it will be like if you want to give Q's one and this uh, term, uh, the better marks will be considered for your grading. So last uh, last uh, term you have given, no? That quali during qualifier, Q's one. That is a Q's one actually, nothing. Okay? Yes, yes. Okay. So uh, in Q's one means if it is, if it is scheduled on uh, 16th October, right? Mm -hmm. So in that that uh, computational thinking, uh, if I got uh, more marks, mm -hmm. so it will be considered for that mark, right? Yeah. Uh, first for first four weeks. Yeah. Okay. And the syllabus, uh, sorry, and the syllabus will be uh, for quiz one. Uh, it will be as same as last term, right? Uh, for quiz yeah, one. For one competition one. thinking, it is same. I think also it will be same for mathematics and uh, statistics. Is it uh, Nikita and Srikant? Yes, yes. Uh, same for stars. Yeah. Yeah, so it will be same for a Q1 uh, like syllabus for whatever you have given for the last time. Okay. Yeah, Sachin. And the second question is uh, for maths, uh, which are because in this um, because in last time I got miss uh, less marks in maths one, uh, so would like to improve the in uh, maths two. So uh, I think and I just saw that uh, in on website the syllabus the whole syllabus is on calculus. Uh, so can you please suggest any book so that I can prepare means uh, during the course only. Okay. So, have you gone through Max 2 syllabus? You are referring to Max yes, 2, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I think calculus part is only three weeks, right? More of we are covering linear algebra. Okay. Like it's vector spaces, uh, matrices. Uh, in your class, all you have come across these things, I hope. Like matrices, determinants. Yes, yes. Right? So, I guess in Max 2, we will start with vector calculus. Uh, which is linear algebra basically and slowly we go to linear transformations and then we will study inner product spaces and in the last three weeks like week 10 11 12 i guess so it is multivariable calculus so you might have studied single variable calculus in max one right week seven eight nine yes yes so yes, it is of single single variable right you have seen only f of x or area under one graph two dimensional graphs Mm -hmm. Right now, you, we will jump into three dimensional functions function, area, volume under the curves. So, you will see that in the last three weeks. So, we have prepared a textbook, okay, for week seven, eight, nine calculus part basically. So, have you gone through that uh, calculus part? Uh, in week one? No, no, Sorry, week uh... seven, eight, nine. In maths one, we have shared a textbook to you. Like we have prepared a textbook. Yes, 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 yes sir. You have shared. Yes. Uh, likewise, uh, we have a textbook which is being prepared. I guess first four weeks of that uh, Max two has been prepared. Okay. Okay. So that is the best material you can follow. Okay. So okay. is it shared or uh, it will be shared after it the course? It will be shared. You once you get into the course, it will be shared. If you just want to go, you know this uh, R S Agarwal, right? Yes. You know yes. R S Agarwal. Yeah. So if you wanted to give a quick, uh, maybe quick start, uh, you can just go through the Taras Agarwal and just solve problems related to determinants and matrices. Okay, sir. okay. so that okay. is sufficient. See, if I suggest you complicated books, what happens, you know, we are not going to going much deep in that topics. So no need of uh, going in deep. 
okay sir mm. good afternoon mm -hmm. sir I, i want to know is there any a basic book uh, for python and especially also i want to know what is o double p -E? what is op who who, who 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 is speaking is it sachin or someone else arun kumar sir it is arun kumar arun kumar okay sorry sir so you wanted the uh, textbook for python yeah a textbook for python and also i want to know what is o o p p -E? what is what is o p p e yeah it's an programming exam i guess it's deepak should answer this particular it's an online programming exam yeah okay. yeah so so in python you will have a theoretical type of question as well as the uh, uh, coding type of examination so in coding uh, you need to do online programming examination so that is called opt okay okay and the book regarding that i think best way to practice i think in the website it is some mentioned uh, regarding that book of python i don't think it is there but the book, sir if if the student who has no programming a, a, a knowledge or experience then uh, where they can start from yeah, so i don't think that is required also so each and everything like it, the course is designed in such a way that it is started from the very basic like you have gone through that uh, computation thinking course no so for that did you need any book at that time no na so the same thing for the python if it is required the instructor will suggest you to go through that book i don't think so it will be required any book because all things are started from the very basic and you need not to know any prerequisite to start that one also okay so don't worry much about that any book if instructors if it is required they will tell you otherwise the course materials will be more than enough to learn the programming language python okay and especially sir for op what should we follow uh, sorry o double p e uh, for uh, what should we follow to go, uh, if suppose i want to excel at the at this o double p e mm -hmm. so what should i do for uh, online programming coding so you need to do in you need to do practice i mean see programming how we will learn so the best way to do practice so whatever the code and whatever the concept which is covered in that particular week, it is better to do the practice by yourself if any code is written uh, or shared with you through course material it is better to do practice I and mean, whatever the practice how much you do practice that will be more beneficial so you do practice a lot then you will able to learn the so i have to make i have to make the project of my own or you will uh, or the or or the examiner will ask the questions or yeah examiner the... examiner we will we will give you the question and it will be monitored i mean so that that is the way we will conduct the online programming the same day you will give the question and uh, i have to code uh, it yeah yeah that like examination how we conduct examination so that is the same way in that way you have to give a uh, right code in front of us means it will be monitored and and other details will be mentioned at the time so don't worry too much about that but yeah you should be ready do practice at all, a lot so that you can understand code by yourself i mean and the question will be given on that day it will you will be answering on that day itself okay so like what is the examination passing marks are in op so that that thing i yeah, it will be collectively no i mean uh in it will be collectively co uh, calculated i think okay collectively means uh, in i mean so for all so uh, week 1 week 2 week 3 like that so it, i think uh there will be I, i'm not sure how many are there but yeah so it will be not like one uh, i i think every every so like that in uh, computational thinking you have quiz one quiz two there you will have different time at different time you will have opt and how many opt will be there that will be decided uh, by the course instructor okay so we have to go through uh, uh, many opt not one yeah there will be not only one or there will be uh, two or three depends on the course instructor how many they want and uh, uh, and you will take the average score of opp not a single one yeah that, that is also the uh, calculation is uh, something is there means uh, uh, 40% or like that something will be there so and okay. sir and my last question is uh, uh, see if the person has no knowledge of programming 
so generally it takes uh, three months minimum minimum three months so how you can expect the students to excel at uh, op op so we are, we are not uh, so still listen so as as you start the course we are not uh, asking any question beyond the syllabus and beyond the concept which is not discussed in the particular week we'll ask the question which is discussed or the mention in the Yes, sir. I'm, sir, I'm getting your point. You are absolutely <laughs> correct. But from my point of view, sir, I, as a student, actually we want to excel at this subject. So that is why I'm asking this uh, this question. How we can excel uh, at this subject in just three months? So please uh, guide us. So the best way, the best thing is to have to do a lot of practice. That's all. I mean, the, uh, 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 the uh, 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 as, as you saw a question on notebook, the same thing in the Python or the any coding language. You need to do practice. But sir, in the syllabus or wherever you are asking, you are going to refer, there is only one book. And I think it is a it is good book. I'm not saying it is not good, but it is not starting from the basic, from the very basic. But what about the lectures? I mean, say, lectures are started from the very basic thing. It will be taught at the very basic loop, a variable. Uh, if, you, if you could guide some books, sir, then it would, it would be really beneficial for us. Okay, okay, okay. So maybe the I will just let you know in some time. And some if any, how will I know? Sir? How will I know? Uh, okay, so in some time I, I, I think if some course instructor from Python is coming, I will let you know, and they will suggest you what, what is the actually uh, book they are going to refer for this one. Okay. And also, sir, one problem I faced that, that uh, see, I did uh, computational thinking. But mm -hmm. uh, in some part, uh, it was not so cleared. Actually, uh, later on, later on, after uh, taking this exam, I have gone through many books, mm -hmm. and uh, I uh, and I cleared my concept. But mm -hmm. earlier, I was feeling uh, difficulties in that. See, uh, from your point of view, you are correct. But the person who has no knowledge of uh, this subject may feel difficulties. So that is why I am saying that after exam, I gone through many books. And uh, I cleared my con concept wherever I had doubt. So that is why mm -hmm. if you could provide any material, then it would be really beneficial for the students. Yeah. Hello. Okay. So, sir, can I interrupt? Yeah, yeah. So I, I listen to your voice. Uh, in OPP, I got a, in, in my uh, Python exam, I, I, we have, uh, they are given through OPP. So I got a uh, hundred both of them. So I I no need to go any uh, books. So that is all. And Ajay, do you have any background of a uh, computer no, like coding? No? no, sir. No, sir. Uh, and Arun, no. Yes, my entire exam is ninety-five. So you can guess it. So actually, you have no prior knowledge of uh, programming. No. You know, okay. need they, they, they will be provided, they are given such type of questions so you can solve it. Okay, so see, the same, yeah. So, so, same thing I was talking about, Sandy. You have the example now, Ajay. Okay, so are you now you are satisfied? So, I so the material, whatever it is provided, is more than enough. And you were talking about computational thinking. So, my question was that did you attend the live session generally? I don't. Yes, sir, I attended sir live session, but sir, actually whatever I, I sir I I told my whole things that whatever I feel because uh, I believe in truth, sir. Okay, okay. So uh, if you had any doubt at that time, you should be asking. No, I mean at that time in that live session. Yes, sir, everything uh, <laughs> covered so fast that. <laughs> okay, okay. So we are okay. So now your doubt is cleared. Yeah, sir, I clear, but little bit worried about this Python, sir. <laughs> Very too much because of if you have no any background of no, uh, coding, you can do better. Like Ajay has got hundred marks, so you can understand that how the course is uh, uh, created in such a way that anybody can learn. Okay. Uh, if you don't mind, I would like to ask one more question, sir. Deepak, sir, please. See, after Python, also I will have to go through Java, right? However, you are dealing with right now foundational, I know, but uh, I will I will have to go through Java, sir. Yeah, I mean, so once you finish the all the foundation level courses, then you will be able to do Java. 
Yes, sir. And yeah. if student have no knowledge of Java, then how can they clear, sir? Uh, uh, so that is why you are learning no course, no. See, before joining this uh, uh, program, uh, did you heard about the computational thinking? As you come, join, learn, then you will be able to answer the question based on the computational thinking. Because the same thing, anything in your life, you will learn first time. You need a, something, <laughs> you have to start from somewhere. Yes, sir. But sir, actually, I cleared computational thinking, but difficulties. But right now, I'm okay. I'm okay with the subject. If I ah. take the examination again, then it will be okay. But earlier, I feel difficulties, sir. That is why I'm telling you. Yes, Other... sir. I'm telling everybody. So without knowing the any course, you will have uh, like little bit uh, fear that how will uh, I will pass and all the things. But as you keep learning, as you keep practicing, My you will be getting more confidence day by day. No. Yeah, yeah, you are 100% correct, sir. I, I agree with you. But my point is that suppose student is uh, uh, achieving suppose A grade and he is interested in S grade, super upgrade. So that is why I'm asking if suppose students want to achieve S grade, then he will feel a uh, little bit uh, awkward or... Uh, so for that, if you are practicing two hours, you should be practicing four hours. Yeah, you are correct. So that is why, sir, I'm. A, I, 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 it is my personal request. Please suggest some books for Python, OPP, and Java. That is why we can prepare for in advance to excel in that subject. Okay, okay, okay. So let me. Any, any book is there? Yes, one book is there that is given in the course uh, introduction. You finally go through the inter introduction. They had you will be get one books you can refer it yeah. uh, OPP, you don't need any uh, books you, you need to go through all the uh, assignment all the programming assignments questions that is sufficient more okay. than sufficient yeah so in orientation videos go and watch some book is written there just uh, go through that at least one okay okay so also those who are uh, having doubt, please raise your hand. Arun, you should having uh, raise your hand. Then you. Sir, may I ask? Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Next, next is uh, Drasti. No, wait, wait. Drasti. Drasti Shah. Yeah, actually, I had a doubt, right? Uh, like uh, I just completed Tom one. So while continuing with Tom two, would we be uh, like provided with the content of Tom one, or it would be go? It would go. So, uh, what is it? your voice is not clear. Just, just give me a second. Yeah. So, can you please repeat, uh, Drashti? So, like I was asking that uh, I completed term one. So, uh, uh, I'll continue term with one. term two. Okay. So, what are the courses you have completed? All four subjects. All four subjects. Yes. So, okay. like I had a question key, like while continuing with term two. Uh, Will be will be given the content of term one or would it be over removed from us? Oh, so you want to take all four courses, the remaining all four courses of foundation level? No, no, no. I had a doubt you know, while continuing with term two, mm -hmm. uh, term one content would remain with us or it would be removed. Oh, no, no. So it will be there in your portal page. I mean, uh, if you log in through, I think it will be there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sir. Uh, hello. Yeah. Who is touching? Yeah. Yes. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, sir, one more thing means we are facing. Uh, with us, IIT student is uh, provided ID. Uh -huh. uh, we are not able to log in directly. Means we have to log in with incognito mode like that. Uh, means uh, suppose I log in with. Okay, then I go to my courses. Okay, mm -hmm. then I suppose I go to a mathematics one, mm -hmm. and then it uh, take it is taking time. Okay, but if I open that link after mm -hmm. clicking on the mathematics one, if mm -hmm. I open that in incognito mode, then I am mm -hmm. able to see the course. But I am not able to see uh, just like uh, with a Gmail ID, uh, mm -hmm. we were able to uh, access that course directly. So okay. that technical issue we are still facing. No, so if I think once your email ID, the online degree email ID is given to your student email ID is given, that yes, will sir. be your like email ID to access the courses. I think after that onwards. Yes, 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 sir. Sir, with that same that ID, hmm. uh, if I am clicking on that course, okay. Hmm. Suppose login in Google Chrome. Hmm. Okay, I login in normal login hmm. in sign in. 
then we get on left hand side different options okay then hmm. we have my uh, courses okay my hmm. courses hmm. suppose i click on my courses hmm. and then we have suppose uh, in last time i registered for three courses hmm. then we have uh, mathematics one option i have hmm. then i click on mathematics one option hmm. uh, it's redirected to that another page hmm. but uh, it is it is not loading but uh, okay. if i same page if i log in with incognito mode then i am hmm. able to see Okay, okay. So that double login, uh, we are facing that issue. Okay. So maybe I will talk uh, this uh, to support him regarding this. What is the issue? Okay. okay. So to interrupt, can you answer? Yeah. Huh. Uh, so like, uh, if you uh, you would be opening the Chrome from that uh, ID, right? Searching. Uh, yes. 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 So like. Uh, uh, continue uh, opening the uh, website from the older ID. Uh, it is opening. Uh, okay. So you are saying I, I just had to log in with student mail ID. Uh, so open the screen from the older ID. Just uh, sign in with the student ID. Okay. Okay. The signing with the uh, student ID and uh, open uh, course opening with uh, means old Gmail ID, right? Yes, yes. Okay. I think in my case also what yes. I'm doing is I'm logging into Chrome using the my uh, old ID from which I initially registered and then in the course login page I'm using the student ID which has been given by IIT Madras and in this configuration all uh, old courses are opening. Okay, fine. Okay. okay. So your query is clear now? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So next Rohit. Yes, sir. I have done the course. First mm -hmm. of all, uh, I have cleared all the four courses in the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are the subject combinations? That I'm planning to take only two subjects. So, what are the best subject combinations? Okay, so th uh, that combination totally depends on you. I mean, uh, how much time you are going to give. Uh, like uh, the the combination you should not take i think the statistic uh, so you want to take two courses this time yes. this time yes. okay so the the combination is like a statistics two and mathematics two uh, yeah you should not take i mean okay it, it, it will be like uh, too difficult because both will be like uh, uh syllabus is little uh vast i mean and you need to put a lot of effort in that okay so I think you can take, a, uh, so you have cleared a computational thinking. So you can take yes. a Python or any one of the two, uh, the statistics you want to take or mathematics. Okay. Yeah. Uh, others, the uh, course instructor can also comment on that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Srikant is there. Nikita, Vicky is there. Yeah. Yeah, the same. Uh as what Deepak has suggested, right? Like if you're planning to take just two courses, uh, like I would suggest uh, like take either stats or maths in a term. So stats or Python you can take or stats or English you can take. It depends on you what two courses you want to take, but stats two is going to be a little difficult and maths two is also kind of uh, a heavy course. So do not take both of these courses together. Okay. And what are the hardware requirements for Python? Yeah, just me, just me, just me. So on the uh, just give me say okay, uh, Rohit, uh, you can ask. Yeah. Uh, so what so are so the hardware requirements? For so before Python? Rohit asks, uh, uh, it can can um, uh, Miss Nikita can can she please repeat what she said? I couldn't hear that. Okay, yeah. Nikit. Okay, hi. Uh, so what I said is like, uh, if you're planning to take just two courses uh, in the second term, so I would suggest to not take stats two and maths two together because both of these two courses are quite heavy. And uh, if you're especially working professional, it will be uh, very hectic. So take two courses which are light. One you can take stats or Python stats or English, or next term you can take maths or Python or maths or English. Anything you want. So, so ma'am, I I did not have that option as I had completed the six other subjects in the previous terms. 
So I had only two subjects remaining, which were stats two and maths two. So apparently I have, okay. <laughs> I have uh, taken the difficult path, but um, I hope that's still doable and people have done it. Yes, yes, it is doable. I mean, people have done it. Like if, uh, so how, mm -hmm. uh, it depends on how you're going to do it. So right. it is right. manageable. So, I mean, it is manageable, but many people struggle uh, to do it. So that's why they had suggested this. I, I understand. I, I yeah. think Rohit has a question, uh, but ma'am, uh, meanwhile, Nick, ma'am, uh, ma Nikita, uh, if you can just uh, have a look at the chat, I have mentioned yeah. a question re related to maths 2 and stats 2 content. If you can just have a look, meanwhile, while Rohit is asking this question. Okay, sure. I will check. So, uh, sir, what are the requirements for Python hardware requirements? Okay. Yeah, so, Deepak, That's... I'll take this. Yeah, has, uh, Karthik. Yeah, yeah, please. Oh, Rohit, so, so there is. Uh, do you have a? Uh, do you have a decent laptop that should do? Uh, no specific requirements as such. So please, I am having a laptop with Windows. So some are saying that Linux is also required. So that's why. No, no, Linux use. is Linux is more of. You don't need Linux. Uh, probably that some. Some of the Linux based things you'd be doing in diploma, but for Python, you don't need all that you need is a browser. So nothing else. Okay. Uh, and where to download this Python app? Uh, you Google. don't you don't need to download. So there are like two ways. One you could uh, use this uh, browser based tool called replit.com. If not, Sorry. you could uh, replit.com. Uh, if not, you could uh, you know, once you join the course, right, we provide you an interface to type your code anyway. So you'll, get, you'll have to get used to that interface. Uh, so that's Replit is the best choice for now. So what's the spelling? REPLIT.com. I think Ritwik has pasted it in the chat. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Very so. Yeah, so next uh, we have uh, Anand Krishna. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, I'm a working professional and uh, I completed uh, my formal college schooling many years ago. I'm finding it extremely difficult with, uh, you know, some of the concepts of math and stat. I have taken stat 2 now for this term. So wanted to understand how uh, some of the working professionals are, uh, you know, uh, able to adapt and learn better wanted to understand from you as you you see them all yeah nikita ah uh, hi uh, so uh, how many courses so you have finished with first term right yeah i only... so all the four courses you have finished no i am a direct diploma i just cleared the... okay direct diploma entry yeah, okay I... so this term which all courses are you I have just to taken start Oh, just starts to. Uh, yeah. So it should be uh, not so difficult. I mean, uh, do you have a maths or stats background, maths background or engineering? Yeah, I did my engineering, but many years okay. ago. Yeah. Uh, it should not be very difficult. Like uh, it starts with multiple random variables and it should be fine. Like if you just have one course, it should be fine for you. Okay, madam. Yeah. Anything that particularly because some sometime what challenge I faced is seeing all the content from YouTube and also attending those live classes. Uh, hmm. uh, 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 balancing work was a big time challenge. So some people were suggesting more of the live open sessions and you know uh, the other uh, live sessions classes not able to uh, uh, time was not available because to see those videos it was quite voluminous yeah right so uh what you can do is like you can whatever videos are available right on the portal you can watch the lectures and slowly go uh, like go to activity questions and try to solve some basic problems at least so it will give you a good idea of what is happening and also if if possible try to attend one live sessions a week so many many of students have are told like they it helps them so you can try to attend one live session even if you are not able to uh, attend the live session you can just the video content and problem there is a lot of content on the portal you can just go through it and it should be enough 
it just depends on you if you have time uh, to spare a live session you can do it yeah and one last question that book whatever they had uh, recommended no uh, yes, probability so, and statistics so probability and yeah probability and statistics with examples using r yeah uh, that, so, i couldn't see it in amazon or any other bookstore is it particularly um, yeah like... the pdf will be available it is not yet completed the book is not yet completed oh yeah so you you can find different week content on the internet it is available okay okay yeah. thank you yeah. yeah so next we have uh, janta Yeah, good afternoon. Actually, good afternoon. this is in continuation to what uh, Anant had just asked. Myself is also a working professional. Um, mm -hmm. I I completed term one, uh, and I have a CCC of four currently. Okay. Uh, but given that, and I'm also you know from a technical background, though I mm -hmm. completed years back. So I loved obviously the 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 maths and the stats of term one. Now. As I understand that, uh, I think you need to take, uh, as in maths and stats can be taken together as an option, but uh, as in you need to take maths first and stats. So uh, is, is my understanding correct? As in you, uh, if, if you're, let's say if I'm taking only two subjects in term two, mm -hmm. so then uh, I need to take maths and then possibly in the next term, I can only take stats or vice versa. Is my understanding correct? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So what you have not to take, I mean, maths two and statistics two, you should be not taking other combination you can take like maths two Python or maths stats two Python, like this combination you can take, but don't take both courses together. That is the plan. Okay. Now, so in terms of stats one versus stats two, if I have to compare it, uh, on a on a difficulty level, let's say if term one stats is I don't know, let's say whatever level it is. So if that is a base level, how how will you rate stats two for term two? Yeah, Nikita will be the right person to answer. Yeah, Nikita. Okay, so uh, how did you find stats one, Jan? How was it for you? Okay. No, the stats one was great. Um, okay. I, it went off very well. Um, obviously, the first half, as in till first, First half, um, we were dealing first, with the uh, like yes. counting principles, computation combination, and, and then combination. we moved to random variables. Then we talked about yes. distributions. So yes. once you come to stats two, it starts with like in stats one, you have seen just one random variable, uh, discrete and continuous. Mm -hmm. But once you come to stats two, it starts with two ra multiple random variables. So first we are talking about discrete case, and then we are moving to continuous, and when we are going to inferential statistics part. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, it is little difficult, but uh, it will be fun, I would say. Like I, I'm sure they would enjoy the course, and there is a jump in the level of stats one and stats two. Once you start watching the video, you will uh, realize it. So there is a jump in the difficulty level, uh, but mm -hmm. uh, it will be more fun to watch. And we'll, I hope you will uh, enjoy the starts to courses, the videos and content. Okay. No. So do I need to proceed maths before uh, starts yeah. to? No, you can take both the courses if you want together. If you are able, if, if you can able to manage, it is fine. Like it is just recommended from our side because both maths two and stats two are kind of difficult courses, uh, so it's from uh, it's like our recommendation that you don't take both the courses together. But if you enjoy the maths and stats part, uh, it is okay if you can if you go through both the courses together. I mean, it is not the prerequisite or something. You can take both the courses together if you want. Okay, and if I decide to take stats two. And let's say Python, uh, you, and in the next can, term can, I take you maths. can you can go with it. Yeah, yeah, you can go with it. Yeah, no issues. Okay, and in terms of the the, um, I think there is a change in terms of the assignments that I am might expect to undergo. In the sense, I think in term one there were um, only three quizzes. Obviously, quiz one, quiz two, and the end term. So in okay. the term two, you have uh, I think. Four quizzes, uh, is that right? 
No, in, in as far as Python is concerned. Okay, Python you're talking about. Yeah, so in Python, I think there are okay. four courses. Is that right? Maybe Karthik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Python, there are uh, there are two theory exams and two programming exams. Okay. And you will have to. So there is a minimum cutoff of forty percent. Uh, you'll have to clear, uh, get above forty percent in one of the two programming exams for you to be eligible for the course grade. Okay, so essentially there are four quizzes uh, in place of three for other other courses, okay, as in other subjects. Okay, four of them, two of two of which will be programming. As two of them will be programming. Okay, yeah. and the remaining two will be uh, on what will be the content primarily. It will be theory exam, so you'll have to write, come to the center and take them, just like the other uh, courses. Karthik, I see. Yeah, just give a brief in info of like OPP with how it will be and how. Yeah, yeah. great. So there will be you see this programming exam. There will be two of them. Uh, they are called online project programming exam. So you'll you'll be writing them at home, your own respective homes, and you'll it will be project. That's what it's a project exam, and mm -hmm. it'll be conducted online. And there'll be two such exams. And uh, earlier, what was the policy was it? We, we were not considering a minimum cutoff of 40%. So this time we are making it very strict. So last time we made it uh, this 40% mandate, right? So in at least one of these two programming exams, you'll have to get a minimum of 40 uh, in order to clear mm -hmm. the course, right? So uh, as a result, what has happened is that in some sense, Python is also becoming kind of a tough course. Uh, earlier, it was sort of not as tough as say max or stats but what we are seeing is that uh, with this cutoff in place it's you will have to devote a considerable amount of time for python as well uh, the way it stands right okay okay uh, and is there any any uh, repository where i can refer to the content uh, in advance because still i have some time from let's say today till second when the content is going to be released so is there a way i can go through to have a fair idea as to what i will be uh, learning in the term two for all the different subjects the lectures for all subjects will be available uh, but i don't think the question bank of sorts will be there for any of them uh, but no, i'm referring to lecture bank in the sense a transcript or some notes of some previous students or is there any lecture which i can you know, uh, go through in advance. Uh, yeah, Le lectures for sure. Uh, one second. One second. So Deepak, then can you just take this? I'll just be. Yeah. So back. lectures, actually, all the playlist is available on the YouTube. No, I mean, all the lectures videos are there. But if you go to the YouTube and playlist, if you select that Python, so that all the Python lectures will be available for, from week one to week two. I see. Okay. So under the IITM. Uh, yeah, IITM online. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay fine. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to add one more point. Yeah. Yeah. Jayanta, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is my personal suggestion. Okay. Yep. Uh, so what I suggest you is uh, you just take maths two prior to stats two. It's not that okay. mandatory, but this is my personal uh, preference because in mathematics too, mm -hmm. you will be learning two variable functions. So function mm -hmm. of f of x comma y. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how will it be? What is the graph of that functions? You will learn local maximums, local minimums on two variable calculus. You will do. Mm -hmm. And what happens in stats too is we will straight away jump like joint PDF. We will discuss a term called joint PDF, which is a function mm -hmm. of two variable. So mm -hmm. we won't be dealing how that function look like or how to integrate that functions. We won't be dealing that in stats too. And yeah, mm -hmm. this is my personal suggestion. Okay. So if you no, if you want a better I, I, better understanding, uh, my suggestion is uh, do maths to first and then come to stats. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, not Thank for you. only Jayanda. It's for those who are confusing between stats two and maths two. For all those. Thanks. Thank you. So, okay. So next uh, we have, uh, I think Sachin, your doubt is already clear, no? Uh, 
Uh, so just regarding courses only. Uh, yeah, such. This term I have registered uh, for um, CT and Maths two. So mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, recommend it. It is manageable, right? Means I am working yeah. professional. Yeah, it will be manageable. Yeah. CT and Maths two, right? Means CT yes. Maths two, CT. Uh, sorry, English two. I have three. Yeah, English two. I don't think so. English two will create any problem. We can go with this maths two and stat. Uh, maths two and uh, uh, city. Uh, Python. Uh, city. Yeah, okay. Huh, you can do yes. that. Maths two and city. And next time I'm planning uh, as, uh, stats two and uh, Python. Python. Yeah. Yeah. That. That is okay. Good. Okay. Sure. So, thank you. Yeah. So next we have Sandaria. Uh, Ranjan. Sandaria Ranjan. Yes, sir. Yeah. Huh. Sir, uh, uh, I have doubt on uh, stat two because mm -hmm. last time I uh, I was unable to clear the uh, stat two because its difficulty level is very tough mm -hmm. to me because uh, I am not from any engineering or technical background and uh, uh, stat one it was uh, manageable but mm -hmm. in, while I entered into the stat two it's completely tougher to me so. How can I improve myself from basics to uh, uh, that uh, on or uh, start to? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nikita? Uh, I saw the So, yeah. uh, did you finish the course? Start uh, to? No, no, no. Sorry, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, what are topics you face difficult in? Um, well, uh, uh, I, I did not go through the topic. Uh, la, la, okay, la, okay. Because, so uh, yeah. you don't have maths background also, is it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So did you finish all the courses in foundation? Maths to yeah, like yeah, yeah. Them? yeah, yeah. Okay. So if left. you have, okay, just starts to is left. So you can watch the videos. Uh, properly and uh, try to attend uh, live sessions also and uh, solve activity questions first like okay. after you watch uh, videos right after that try to watch activity uh, solve activity questions and okay. there are also uh, practice assignment with you tutorial questions so there the solution is provided so you can try to do that problems and few questions uh, you try to do on yourself like don't try to directly jump into the solution and see how is it done try to do few problems on yourself so that will uh, boost your confidence of problem solving so along okay. with just the watching the content like like practicing problem is problem solving is very important so it's since you have just one more uh, like just starts to left uh, you can slowly go through it like a week by week by week watch the content okay. then go first start with activity question because those are very basic and uh, uh, you can try to start from there start so problem solving from there then you can go to tutorials okay. then practice assignment and all that okay, okay that will help yeah. yeah and try to attend live sessions if you have doubts you can use this course also yeah uh, should I uh... Yeah, uh, practice uh, some uh, uh, requisitory co course before this. Yeah, hello. Uh, no, there is no. Uh, it it is fine. Like you have finished that's one, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, so it is okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, wh what about week week zero? So should I uh, complete that week zero first? Yeah. Week zero, uh, you have already been through stats one and you have seen uh, all the distributions. Yeah. Are okay. you comfortable with distribution part? Uh, yeah, al almost. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're comfortable, no need to go through week zero. But if okay. you're not very comfortable, you can go through week zero first. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so those who are having still doubt, they can raise your hand and then I will call your name. I don't think so new name is that. I think I have already cleared the Anand Krishnan and Sachin doubt so they can lower your hand. 
Yeah. So if you are having doubt, just please raise your hand and then we will ask you doubt. Yeah, so guys, please raise your hand if you have any doubt. Regarding course content or how many courses you, you should take for getting good grades and all. Hello. Uh, yes, yes, sir. So actually, I uh, just um, said it's a uh, the student mail ID password. Uh -huh. uh, so it is actually difficult to remember and main, uh, maintain also. So can we change it? Uh, must the login email ID means what you're talking? Yeah, not login email ID. Uh, password means login email ID means in Chrome it is auto so it's saved. Mm. For password, uh, can we change it? Password, you can change, no? Yes. Change option. Uh, I think we can change. For what password we have linked? But uh, while logging in, right? Uh, while uh, logging in, uh, enter your password and then we have forgot password. Okay, so you want to change uh, your password? Yes, sir. Yes. To log into the course portal page. Is it? Yes, yes, sure. Correct. Okay. Uh, anyone knows uh, how to do that? Mm. Yes, it's uh, actually the same process uh, that we follow for normal Gmail account. Like manage Google account uh, for normal Gmail account with change password. So it's the same. Okay, so first I have to log in with that uh, password, provided password. Yeah, right. And then, right. Uh, and then in the manage Google account, uh, can change, right? Yeah, and the settings, and then there yes. you can change, just like you do with the normal Gmail account. Normal Gmail account. Right. Uh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, so, yeah, Drasti has asked, like, how can I get this course link? So I think you will get invite from us to join the discourse. Okay, so now I think once you have cleared the first term, means then you will get the uh, invite from us to join the discourse. Okay. Sir, you will invite through email or WhatsApp or both? Yeah, to your the email email uh, what you have with what you have registered this program. But earlier uh, for a few discourse courses, I have I had not been invited. No discourse. I mean, once you, I'm asking about discourse only, sir. Yeah, yeah. But I had not been invited through email. I have I have not received any message or discourse. Okay, so for that, I think you were supposed to write mail to the support team. I mean, maybe. Uh, uh, did you did you talk to? Is there any other way out uh, to know uh, the discourse about the discourse when it will happen? I, I will get note. I mean, it will get mail actually. So I, I think uh, it will get very soon before the starting of course, you will get that invitation. And sir, I have another doubt and not about this thing. Can I ask or I should bet? So doubt, uh, if anyone, nobody is having doubt, then you can ask. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, sir, uh, I passed my qualifier exam in Jan term, but mm -hmm. I said uh, my course uh, in May term and the time period to complete this course is I think uh, this uh, six years. 
so my time will start from may term or june term because i passed qualifier in june term but join my first term in may so it will start from jan i jan no because you have started from that time but sir but sir i i passed the qualifier but uh, i started my first term in may not the jan so anybody wanted to answer this one any code I am according to me. It should be counting from Jan. No, sir. Actually, sir, the many there are many students who qualified uh -huh. earlier, but uh, they don't fulfill the requirements. Suppose uh, there are many students who has not cleared uh, the required examination, but cleared the qualifier. So uh -huh. they have to join when they will clear all these things. Okay. So for this, I think uh, uh, the core support team will be the better to better okay. person to answer. Okay. This. And uh, uh, like, uh, another question is, sir. Uh, earlier, I was a student uh, of BSc in programming and data science, and now you uh, you have launched BS degree in data science and application. Mm -hmm. So automatically, we will be uh, uh, transferred in that course, or I will have to write. So I, no, no, you need not to write, but you will be given as an option to. Uh, convert uh, into BS, I think. Option, yeah. uh, but we have not received any email or any other WhatsApp message regarding this. It will, it will get, it will get, it will get. Okay. It means it means that we will automatically or not automatically. I think you will be given an option. So just like diploma, right? You have diploma, you can drop out a diploma like that. You can complete the degree, BSc degree, and drop out that. Or you can, after completing BSc, you can go on to get the BS. So one more exit. No, so completing, completing for uh, after completing the BSc, I I can go for BS. Or this time only we will be enrolled in BS degree. I think you will you can drop off after BSc and see automatically all of you are eligible. Whoever is there in the program is eligible to go for BS. So that much we can assure you, Stephen said. But more than that, whether you can drop off with BSc and Oh, I think it's better if you can you know, ask in tomorrow's session. Then we'll have a better idea. Okay. Uh, just, just, just one more thing regarding this only. Uh, so we do not have to register separately for the BS, right? We are uh, uh, being part of the BSc. We are uh, going to transition to BS uh, like we register for every term, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. By default, this is now a BS program. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. You are having yes, sir. yeah. Yes, yes, sir. I had registered for uh, after clearing my qualifier uh, exam in 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 May. I had registered for the four courses, but mm -hmm. in the end term, it uh, when I uh, when I went to the examination center to attempt my intern exam, it mm -hmm. showed to only attempt for subjects for which you had registered, but uh, in in the exam, only two subjects, mathematics and computational thinking, were sh were uh, being shown. The other two were not being shown. So when I uh, checked my uh, uh, result for this, uh, it, it 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 was showing that I had to give makeup exam for English and statistics. Okay. So for I think for every course uh, you, you get uh, admit card, no? I mean to enter the I mean, for writing the examination so you, you didn't get uh, admit card for the other two subjects I mean, oh, sir, i only got one admit card okay in that it is mentioned that uh, which are the subjects you are going to write examination no sir it was not mentioned in the back it was mentioned only two subjects but the name of the subjects were not written so i think also it is based on the marks uh, no no i think don't think so it is marks basis uh, no sir i was qualified to give end term for all the four subjects okay i uh, know can, can i answer that harsha uh, huh. see uh, i received two admit cards see the end term exams were in two different time slots so the admit card of the morning time slot mentions the subject for which the morning exams are going to be held and the second admit card, which I do not know whether you received, but you're saying that you did not receive. And the second admit card also mentions which two subjects that second admit card is for. 
So just for an example, the morning time slot was for computer CT and maths one, and the second uh, time slot was for English and uh, stats. So uh, at least in my admit card, it was mentioned which subject is for morning time and which is for afternoon. So you have forenoon and afternoon, two different admit cards. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So, Jasmine, is there? Sir, yes. sir, yeah. regarding this makeup examination, suppose uh, if we consider his case, so he can uh, sit for the makeup exam in this term, or also he can appear in Jan, Jan term for makeup. Okay. So, in this coming term, uh, I think uh, there will be. Uh, uh, he can uh, he can sit in this i think and jan i don't know how much time duration you can have for giving that makeup examination uh, karthik you have an idea yes. yeah so i think these queries you can write uh, to the support team they will be the better person to answer uh, we are also not sure, so that's why we are not committing anything. I have already written to support him, but we, we are not uh, able to get any answer. Yeah, no, so uh, this uh, week, maybe they are a little busy for new registration, but definitely they will answer for that. If you uh, try one more time, they will they will answer. Okay, okay sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sir good morning. Yeah. yeah. So, Jasmine, your doubt is clear? Uh, sir, am I audible? Uh, yeah. Sir, for the first term, I joined for three courses, and that uh, uh, were stat, uh, maths, mathematics, computational thinking, and English. Uh -huh. So, for the second term, I am planning to opt for statistics instead of English. Uh -huh. So, my question is that will I be able to continue English in the coming term from where I stopped, or do I have to do from the beginning? I think you have to do from the beginning. Oh. Because you haven't given the uh, end term examination, no? I mean. Yes, sir, yes, I gave and I passed. Okay. So, English 2, you want to register for this? Yes, time. yes. Instead okay. of English 2, I want statistics, maths, and uh, Python for this term. Huh, so then you for... can do. Oh, okay, okay. Sir, uh, is it manageable? I am an engineering student and this is my first year. Is this yeah. manageable? Yeah, so English 2 is fine. No, I mean, the uh, other two subjects are Python and which one you are going to take? I am going to take three subjects Python, uh, ma other three subjects Maths, Python, and um, Statistics. Oh, okay, so I don't think so. Then it will be tough for you. I mean, if you are able to manage the time because you are already an engineering student, you will have uh, a lot of work. So, which semester you are in currently? In Sir, I am. Uh, I just took my admission just recently. I'm going to start my classes. Okay, so for I think if you are able to man, I don't think so. It will be easy, but you have to manage. I mean, I will don't have time to take a leave type of thing so you should be like always in study if you are taking three subjects and all three are you have to put time and okay. at the same time you will have a new semester means so the new environment and all the things so and also there will be like six courses i think in the first term along with that you will have two labs two or depends on most it's a general thing but six and two so i don't think so you will get much time so it will be good that if you take uh, two courses, do better in that, and then you take uh, a re a remaining courses in other time. Because if you take three courses, you will be not able to manage then what is the ish, uh, like thing to do three courses. Just to pass, you can take, but do better in that courses, you need to put time, no? So it will be good that if you take two courses, Along with that, because you have engineering first year, right? some first time. Okay, sir. So thank you. Okay. Sir, um, yeah, Krishna Mohan. Yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, I'm just um, I saw the blackboard here at the foundation. I had this query for foundation courses. Uh -huh. So uh, I have uh, seen, and all all of them are marked like I have come cleared on the foundation courses, but uh, 
there is one quote where uh, English 2 is English 2, apparently, yes, English 2 uh, is mentioned as a pending course, the only pending course in foundation. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh, and also the CCC, that is course clearing, uh, close, uh, course clearing currently, right? CCC, uh -huh. CCC, that is given as three. Uh -huh. So I wanted to start with diploma actually courses, and uh, I, I thought I could take, I can take like that, right? English, uh, since English 2 is pending here. Take English two one English two here and two from from or two or whatever from the diploma level courses, right? Can you do that? I don't think so because we have to first clear all the foundation level courses. I think according to me. others like eh, Karthik and others like Nikita. Yes. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Subo. Foundation you have to do all and only then can move the diploma. Yeah, there's only one English two is the only one which is building there actually. Uh, no, I, I think you, every every single foundational course has to be completed. Only then you can enter the diploma. So, which means for the for the whole term now, I have for, just for one English two, I have to um, like spend these three months in the term, is it? Yeah, if you have not completed English two, you have to spend the full three months. Okay, then when can I take diploma? Then? After you complete English two, uh, from January. Assuming you complete it now. Then from Jan you can do diploma. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Fine, sir. Not before that, is it? We can't uh, club these yeah. two. Yeah, no, these are two distinct. I mean, there is a rigid demarcation between foundation and diploma. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, yeah. So next we have uh, Prashant Negi. Yeah, Prashant, what's your query? Sorry? Yes. Sir. Yeah, Prashant. I want to ask, is there any? Difference between ongoing BSc program and BS program, which is new introduced. Yeah. So what are the basic differences between these two? So it's a uh, it's a like if it's a four years course, like if 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 I can say, and this is the three years. So if you go for the BS degree, you need to do additional courses in fourth year. Uh, after the completion of this BSc degree. I mean, yeah, so like that if you are completing foundation level, then you have diploma, then you have degree. Yes, sir. and uh, for then getting BS that, degree, you need to do another some some courses there. Okay. Oh, oh, after, after this BSc degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay, so I don't think I see any raised hand here. Sir, one more question from my side, sir. Yes, please. Sir, I want to know what about the discourse lectures? Discourse lectures. Yes, sir. Yeah. What, what are these, sir? Okay. Wait, what what this discourse? Uh, lectures, see, he's talking about discourse lectures. Is it? I don't, I don't think there's anything like that. Is that? Lectures, yeah. So, Oh, Prashant, like you had, uh, so you have just uh, cleared foundation level courses or you are still in foundation? Sir, I am still in foundation. Okay. Uh, so like, time. yeah, so you had a discussion forum, no? Yes, sir. Where you, they, you can put your queries and, uh, and yes, structure yes, for some yes, of the people. Yes, so yes, the same particular subject. Course, but little will, it will be more, uh, you will have a lot of options here. I mean, if you, uh, once you open, I mean, say, once we invite, that uh, once you join the discourse, you will see a lot of options are there. In the discussion forum, sir. No, no. So discussion forum now, I don't think so. It will be uh, going to further continue. You will get the discourse. So the same oh. features, but instead there of are discussion some... forum. Yeah, yeah. Instead of discussion oh, forum, okay. we will have discourse. There will be a meeting link for the discussion, I think, sir. No, no, no. So discourse is different. Like discourse and discussion forum. Uh, the yes, can you... sir. So where you are in discussion forum, you are putting your queries, no? Yes, sir. The same thing will be in discourse. Okay, sir. Then what is the difference? So different. It will be uh, uh, Karthik. Can you tell a little bit more about this? Uh, difference between discourse and discussion forum. Right? Yeah. Well, what are the extra features you will get in this? So you can search uh, Google. You can search uh, meta dot discourse dot org. So there is a separate page for discourse you can unless you go and experience it you won't know because it's okay. like just a like question answer for so if you have if you have seen stack overflow uh, and other websites it's similar to that 
ओके ओके थैंक यू सर थैंक यू या सो अगेन आई आई एम नॉट सीइंग एनी न्यू रेज्ड हैंड लाइक हैव ऑलरेडी आंसर द क्वेरीज फॉर हर्ष जस्ट सर कैन आई आस्क वन क्वेश्चन या हु इज दिस दिस इज अरुण कुमार सर या अरुण see sir uh, for complete earlier the time frame for uh, completing the degree uh, is 6 uh, years maximum mm-hmm. right sir and mm-hmm. uh, and recently uh, from your side bs degree has been launched and mm-hmm. also the time maximum time frame is 6 years or little bit more it will be more i think now it is 8 years no i mean i think it is 8 But years i had gone through the handbook it is still showing the maximum time period is 6 years sir okay so Uh, 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 I think it will be then six years. So if it is not mentioned, as, it is for the BS degree or BSc degree, which. Actually, uh... I had gone through the BS degree handbook, uh, BS degree handbook, and in that it is showing the maximum time period is six years. But six year has been fixed for BSc in programming and data science, and additional one more year uh, has been launched. So surely, a little little bit more time should be given. Yeah, for both yeah i also feel and it will be i think more than 6 years i think no? but sir maximum time frame is showing 6 years only okay yeah uh, kartik uh, i have idea anything this no no deep i am not yeah so this will these all queries will be answered through that uh, support team uh, if it is if it is <laughs> but sir they will ask they will ask uh, ask us that just to go through the handbook we had we gone through the handbook in handbook it is showing 6 years only okay so also we will get confirm from admin what what they say okay because sir it is a very a very important questions for the working professionals very very important question yeah i understand and I, i totally understand so let us also get confirm from admin okay so when uh, when i uh, when we can confirm so which are the so we will get confirmation through at support team only i will tell them to uh, please mention the actual uh, maximum year of completion in but sir book. in handbook it is written sir already yeah. written bs handbook okay okay so they they will now specifically uh, answer these queries if anything comes related to the bs degree maximum completion time okay but you are saying it is 8 years yeah i'm i'm also not com- uh, sure that so that's why i'm just telling you to let us get confirmation from admin what they say if it is there 6 or 8 uh, uh, then they will confirm it after asking from admin okay okay thank you sir okay yeah so if any doubt is there just raise your hand i will call your name and uh, we'll try to answer your queries sir this is harsh sir i had a doubt regarding makeup uh, examinations do will i have to com- uh, repeat the complete course or will they be conducted uh, within oh for the makeup examination okay so uh, makeup uh, hello uh, karthik I see uh, harsh i see for questions which are not you know particularly related to the subject or uh, which do not pertain to uh, what we will be discussing in the subject i would request you to you know join one of the sessions the general orientation sessions that are happening right? tomorrow there is one going which is going to happen so are you yes, aware of that yeah yes sir Yeah, yeah. so there the the team will be able to help you much better than this. so yeah. we are the course team right so uh, you can ask about you know subject combinations what concepts will be covering will so will something be taught or will it not be taught so these questions we will be able to answer but uh, the other questions uh, that's a different team which, which will be better equipped to answer it okay yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah so guys like karthik said so we are like technical side so 
if you have any doubt related to that particular course the combination of courses which you should take for getting good grades and all you, you can ask it other queries are related to like uh of dura maximum duration of that particular bs degree course or any other than that you can ask tomorrow so there will another session that will be handled by different team you can ask there okay yeah i have some technical questions sir regarding python suppose uh, see, see sir there are uh, many around 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 just minute uh, uh, you should raise hand and then you ask okay so uh, please raise your hand because someone has already raised hand i will ask give you time after that okay yeah ramya uh, hi deepak thank you so um uh, i have already applied for the course now and uh, i got a mail from mm -hmm. the support team mentioning that the application has been accepted mm -hmm. so i am looking forward to start the classes or uh, joining the sessions from september 5th mm -hmm. um so my question is i will be using my gmail id uh, that i used to register for um, attending the sessions and post clearing the qualifier is when i will be given the iitm id is my understanding correct yeah so you, you have a register for this time qualifier no yes yeah so i think till qualifier exam uh, till this course i think i mean end of this term you will be getting uh, uh, your email um, online degree email id okay uh, 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 before that i think you should be using your your personal gmail id okay and uh, for uh, registering of these courses post the qualifier that will also come, become available for me uh, yes. on my personal email id is that yes, correct yes 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 okay thank you yeah. okay okay so yeah arun yeah what's your query Yes, sir. Actually, sir, I want to know about uh, Python uh, ID. There are many Python ID, Jupyter, and others also. So, in OPE, uh, you will uh, you will uh, ask us to join some uh, different type of ID or any ID we can use like Jupyter or else another. Uh, no, in, you will be asked to join the portal's ID. So, there is an ID that is there in the portal. You will you won't be allowed to use anything else. Uh, you will have to join using that. So portal ID, what what is the name of this uh, portal ID, sir? There is no name. It's uh, it's like a port. It's our own uh, inter interface that we provide for coding. Okay. So uh, at the exam of uh, at the exam you will uh, you will uh, tell us or also prior to the exam we will get uh, get used to it. Ah. Um, so the whatever assignments you do on the portal that will be using the same ID. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, Utkash. What's your query? Hello, sir. Good Hello. evening. Good evening. So my doubt is that there is a course in NPTEL that is introduction to programming through C language. So would it be helpful if I take intro to Python and that course simultaneously? Uh, see, it's up to you. I mean, have you, are you used to programming? Have you learned programming? No, no, no prior coding, any experience. First time. Okay. So do you want to learn C also? Is that your motivation? Yes, I want to learn C also. So I want to ask whether I should do it simultaneously or one by one better to do it one by one because syntax if you are absolutely new to programming then learning the syntax will be kind of not so easy it will be non trivial it's not like hard but learning the syntax of two different languages uh, the two which are like totally different simultaneously will be tricky so it's better to do it sequentially one after the other and anyway you will be learning java in this program so you already have two languages you'll also be learning learning javascript and uh, yeah so okay it's better to do it uh, one after the other so one more doubt i have that the course i have already completed would i be able to access them yeah so all past courses will be available to you you can revisit them whenever you want Okay, sir. Thank you. 
Okay, so yeah, again the same thing. If you have doubt, please raise your hand, and uh, we are here to answer your like technical queries related to the respective courses, combination of courses. Okay, so if you have a doubt, you can raise your hand and you can ask your doubt. Okay. Yes, Mayor. I think Deepak, uh, we have uh, given the answers, the detailed explanation to all the questions. I think. Uh -huh. uh, sh shall we close the session? Because similar type of questions are coming actually, right? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Arun Kumar is there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So now, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> This is my last question, sir. I will not ask. <laughs> no, no, no. Questions are always welcome. But if you come in a, like, yeah, in a queue, once you raise hand, then you ask, it will be good. No? Yeah. Uh, it's, and also different questions, sir. Yeah. My question is, sir, I'm living in mountainous area. So I'm facing a network problem, sir. So while taking the examination, OPE, suppose my network fails. So uh, is there any option to get into again in this uh, exam at the same time or uh, no? Uh, Karthik? Sorry, you are living in the mountainous area, internet connection is bad. The so... connectivity of network, network connectivity is not so go. It's uh, sometimes it comes and sometimes goes. So while taking the examination uh, of OPV uh, Python, so suppose it fails and again it comes. So if I, if I logged out at, at the examination time, so I can log in again or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can log in again. So these things happen. So I think that should be fine. So there is there will be no problem uh, but the only thing is that i should be connected by the google meet yeah you will be allowed so you'll be there shouldn't be a problem okay and uh, and uh, what about the timing the, the timing will uh, uh, keep running or uh, it will start from where i left off no no it will be it will keep running it will uh, it won't start from where you left it, it is one and a half hours and if you are off offline for 10 minutes then you lose that 10 minutes and what is the um, uh, time for the OP exam, sir? Three years, two, two, two hours or three hours? What is 19 minutes. 19 minutes each, sir. And I will have two examinations for uh, OPP exam. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Anushri? Um, sir, how hectic is the Python course? <laughs> not hectic as uh, computational thinking uh, Karthik? yeah so see it was not so hectic two terms back okay so until two terms back the python course was regarded as the easiest course uh, maybe after years okay so now things have changed so the last term if you ask your seniors uh, they'll tell you stories so uh, we have introduced a new 40 percent minimum 40 percent cutoff for programming Okay, so if you have you have to get at least forty percent in one of the two programming exams. If not, you won't be eligible to get the course grade, which means you'll have to repeat the course, right? So, uh, if you have, do you have prior programming experience? No, sir. No, I'm a science background student. Okay, uh, still science background should be good, good enough uh, because you'll know some logic and math, so that shouldn't be a problem. But still. You'll have to devote significant hours of time to uh, coding, right? So you have to you have to learn to write code, and so I would say it's medium level difficulty, may not not too hard, but not easy either. Yeah. Okay, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. What is the cutoff mark, sir, in OPB, sir? Forty percent. Uh, but we'll release all these things, right? It will come along with the grading document, so we'll get to know. In each exam, sir, in two exams, both or uh, no, in, in one of the two. One of the two, sir. Uh, in one of the two, I have to score forty percent only to pass. Yeah, but it sounds easy, but it's not as easy as that. Uh, that's what we have seen so far. But yeah, in that's, one of uh, the two, only forty percent. In one of the two. Yeah. And uh, it means that if suppose I get uh, less than 40 marks in, in one, one OPP and another, another, if I get 60%, then I will pass. Ah, yeah, that's, that's what it means, right? In, you have to get at least 40% in one of the two. It is not average, it is at least. You have done CT, right? What, sir? Uh, have you done CT? Yes, sir. 
uh, so it is that is CP language I am using. So in at least one of the two exams, you have to get a minimum of forty percent. So which means it is or right? This or the marks of OP marks of the OP will counted in the end term exam or final exam, final grading. Yeah, yeah, it will be. So it, if you fail OP, you are failing the course. That is what it means. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Are there any course revisions of syllabus for the upcoming term on the four subjects for second semester? I don't think so. I think all four courses are Python, Stats 2, Max 2, English 2. I think there are no revisions. I think any additions in syllabus or something to them. No, 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 no change, no change. Okay. Yeah, Sachin. Uh, sir, actually in uh, term one, uh, I got uh, very less marks in uh, math, maths one, means uh, less than expected. Uh, so is it impact, Is will it impact my overall CGPA or I can improve in next terms? Yeah, maths team. Yeah, Subham. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, this is the regarding the whole CGPA. Are you asking that? Sorry. The whole whole term CGPA. Are you asking? Ah, uh, whole term. Yes. Okay. So yeah, it will be effect like how it's your grade you are getting. It's depend on your marks. Yeah, uh, how much marks you are getting is depend the grade will be the whole CGPA. Of okay. the term. Uh, means in means uh, so uh, means uh, since I got uh, less uh, marks, less grade in uh, match one, in mm -hmm. term one, so still mm -hmm. I can improve overall CGP right? Uh, of yeah, you have. Grade. If you want to improvement, uh, you can you can again uh, do the course for improvement. Okay. Mm. I can do right. Do it yeah. again. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Okay. So do you have uh, more queries other than that what we have uh, gone through that case? Yes, no? Uh, just wanted to understand what is POD abbreviation? Programming online degree. Okay. So we all have a course instructor has a name like Karthik POD is there, no? So programming okay. online degree. <laughs> okay. uh, this is a different question, yes. <laughs> Good. Okay. Yeah, a any questions other than that? If no, then uh, can we close the session? I mean, others, uh, instructors, what do you say? Yeah, yes, Deepak, yeah I think we can. Yes. Yeah. So guys, uh, we are closing the session and uh, there will be one more session regarding non-technical session will be there. Please also join there and uh, get your doubts clear from there. Okay. Thank you so much to all of you for joining. Thank you, sir. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah, so some chats. Sir, thanks. Uh, date and joining details. So that session will be, I think, uh, it will be it will be getting through your email IDs, I think. Yeah. Karthik, no? The other session, the non-technical sessions. I think so. I think on Gmeet is there for uh, that uh, Narayanan will ask. I think we'll ask yeah. Uh, so here uh, you will get one uh, link, all the joining data and details, details of join uh, data and Gmeet link through support team. They, they will let you know. Okay. 
okay guys so we are closing the session thank you thank you guys for joining uh, we'll meet you guys in the respective courses from first week of september okay bye thank you sir yeah thank you